Welcome back to HammerJoys.net. Um, I've got another one for the Samsung Galaxy users out there, or Samsung Galaxy S users specifically. I don't know, I can't be sure if it works on the, the different varieties. But SGS Tools, look. I'm going to go into that. Now, we, we default to the secret code screen. Um, so if I press one of the secret codes, it kind of dials it for you. And it shows you all this uh, information that, to somebody, uh, it, it makes you know, it makes sense to some people. I'm sure. Um, you just press them, and it, uh, it gives you all these different things: battery stats. So I mean, most of them, most of these things, you can get to. Oh, look, it's a very developer-y uh, type. Anyway, but that's not for me. This is not actually what uh, what. What I like, if I press the uh, menu, I go to menu. So there you see secret codes at the top. Look, clean up system apps, market fix for 2.1, 2.2. That's that's quite useful to a lot of people I know. Uh, home screen settings. That's if you're still using TouchWiz. There, and if you are, why? Um, you've got an option to move the SGS tools from data to the system. You can up apply an update script from the internal SD card from here, and you can also turn on or off. No boot sound, no boot sound, so too close, no boot sound on the start of a shutdown, apply and it, it sort of wipes away the the boot sounds for you. Oh it does need root, sorry that's just reminded me, this thing does need root, if you haven't got root it won't work for you, because it does go in and mess uh, mess with your system in a good way. Uh, what I like, my favourite thing, clean up system apps, so I've only got a few of them left, when you actually first uh, install software on your phone. There's a massive big list that goes on for a couple of screens, if not three, um, and a lot of stuff you just don't need. You don't want the inbuilt um, task manager, for example. I got rid of that. So all you need to do, if you want to get rid of the calculator or ticket, delete selected. Simple as that. But I don't want to go back to the menu. So that's it, really. Uh, there's not a great deal more to it, but it is very useful for Galaxy S owners because it can uh, fix a variety of problems that you might be having. And it's a free app on the marketplace. My name's Andy, Hemadroids.net, and follow at Hemadroids on Twitter.